Um, I, I think w- when we're able to keep a team in the half court, we've done a very good job. The guys are very, you know, they're working over screens, they're communicating with one another, um, and they're just physically getting into the ball the way we've liked to, them to do. Again, I'm going to watch film, see exactly where there's some improvement areas, but again, their intensity and their focus on the defensive end has been very good. Jamal, you look at the three-point shooting, you guys you know, put up attempted 41 tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, again, not able to hit some of those when you needed them. Do you, do you feel like there was good ball movement to get some of those open shots? I absolutely do. I, I think we had a lot of open looks. We had a lot of open looks early. Uh, I think the ball moving from side to side was a, was a good thing. Again, we have to continue to trust the work that we're putting in every single day, and they're doing that. The shots are going to fall. You make two more of those or three more of those, and it changes the game when you go on on that run, which is it's a game of runs. But our guys have to continue to trust that these shots are going to fall, but we're hanging our hat on the defensive end of the floor because we gave ourselves a chance. Okay, we have one question on Zoom. Luke Hectrick, Spectrum Sports. Jamal, you guys are 0-4 this year at home. What is the difference you've seen out of this team playing on the road as opposed to when you do come back here in your building? Well, I think our intensity has been been the same. Our, our focus level has been up. So I, I would say that we're just continuing to we'll, we'll work our groove being home, uh, getting into a pattern being at home. I, I think they've been, they've been focused. Uh, again, it's just been a couple of runs that have hit us. But I think, t- you know, tonight it was uh, the turnovers and, you know, missed some open looks. But we'll just continue to prove on that. Chris Cuff from 24 Flicks. Jamal, not a lot of action for Terrence Ross tonight. Uh, 26 minutes, uh, actually 27 minutes, but 0 for 2 and 2 points. You think uh, Pop just uh, schemed against him? Terrence Ross is one of the best shooters in the NBA. And any team that walks in here knowing that he is that point. So the way they are guarding him or they're disrupting his touches, they're top locking him, making him go the opposite side of the floor. And the the one thing about Terrence, he's willing to make the right play and the right pass. You know, he's teaching these young fellas exactly the things to do and just trying to make the right play. You know, so their teams are scheming for him big time. And, you know, we're going to continue to find ways to get him the ball and he'll continue to make the right decision. Thank you, Coach Mosley. Thank you, guys. All right. Uh, Cole, you guys looked like early on, struggled a little bit to kind of find the shot. Was there anything they were doing to kind of disrupt you guys, or was it just shots weren't falling? Um, I mean, yeah, to a degree, shots weren't falling, but, I mean, they got to give them a little bit of credit. They was playing pretty solid defense, so you got to give them that shout-out. Cole, Dan Savage, RolandoMagic.com. How, how did you feel about the ball movement? Uh, obviously, you guys were, were were sticking with the offensive game plan, but but some of the turnovers were within that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the turnovers kill us. I mean, I, I had five. Jalen had five. That's ten just when your point guard's right there. So, I mean, we, we've got to be better. But, I mean, on, on, on my end, I just got to play better basketball. Just, just took a lot. Took probably too many too many bad shots. Just play selfishly. Just got to be better. And if I'm better, give the team a fighting chance to, you know, potentially get back into that game. Probably just – too many late bad turnovers where at that point it's hard to come back, especially when you're down, just when you're turning the ball over like that to get back to the game. Cole, Melissa Thomas with Florida National News. Well, we did start to see the the offense come alive a lot more in the fourth quarter. Was there a conversation, whether during a timeout or during halftime, that kind of gave you guys that extra fuel? Um, I mean, yeah, dudes, like, just we just all just want to compete. I mean, we're not here just to – we're not going to kill over. We, just, we, we got more pride than that. But, I mean, so – just we competed. That's the one thing we did do. We, we might have not competed smartly, and me, my, that's that's mo- mostly on me. I, w- I wasn't the same play as smart as I have in the past today. But it's just yeah, I mean, we just got we just got a little bit of pride, so we're not gonna let them just shoot. But it's about thirty. Cole, you guys have done a pretty good job defensively over the last couple of games, even tonight a little bit. What what is what has kind of stood out for you for you guys have been able to do maybe to keep some teams down over the last couple of games? Oh, um, I, mean, I think we just uh, – the one thing I think we're doing, I think we're playing extremely hard. I think we're doing a better job of picking up guys' tendencies and, you know, kind of focusing on that scouting report so that we can not give these dudes the shots that they want. And, I mean, it hasn't translated to the win yet, but, like, shoot, I mean, you got to look at the positive sometimes. Defense has been a positive for us so far. Cole, between the the travel schedule and, and the game schedule, you guys haven't had too much practice time. To have a practice to, to tomorrow where you can work on some of these elements, just how valuable can it be for for a young group like yours? Oh, I mean, shoot, every practice we can get is 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 awesome for this team. It just gives us a chance to you know kind of just sit back and then just to kind of dissect 
like our own game plan and just, you know, kind of come up with a formula just to help us get better and help us improve in these coming games. Well, you guys had uh, 41 three-point attempts. Um, it looked like you had some wide open shots. Was it just that something they were doing or, or was it just maybe the shots weren't falling when it came to three? Um, I thought we had a lot of open three-pointers personally. I, just, I thought we got a good amount of good looks. I mean, sometimes they're, not, sometimes they're gonna fall, sometimes they're not gonna fall. So, I mean, that's, I, I guess, I, what, what we shoot from the three-point today? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's obviously not not the best. So, I mean, look, I mean, we practice these shots every day. Eventually, we just hope they're going to fall. But we can't whine and cry when the shots don't fall. You still got to go out there and try to get the win. Okay, one more question. Luke Hetrick, Spectrum Sports on Zoom. Cole, you guys are now 0-4 this season at home. What is the difference that you see out of this team when you guys go on the road as opposed to trying to protect your home court? Man, I, I I don't know, man. I think it's sometimes the ball's going to roll in your favor, and I don't think it has for us yet. But I mean, I think it comes from just especially these home games. We just got to play smarter, man. I think we get a lot. I think we get um a little antsy sometimes, a little hype that we you know we got the home crowd and just maybe you know probably playing a little bit selfish basketball. I know I can speak for myself that I'm I am definitely playing uh too selfish, especially at home. So I just gotta I gotta be better, and then I think that. As I be better, I think hopefully it will we'll start a trend with the team and everyone, you know, just start playing selfless basketball. Thank you, bud. Yep.